Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be trying to get a dent out of a steerer tube on the frame that I'm that I'm going to be building up. Um, so yeah, let's hope that this works. Uh, the mate helped me come up with this idea the other day. So I'm going to try it out because I didn't really want to just hammer it and just in case it got a bit more damaged or bent or broken. Yeah, so over here you can see that it is straight. So I think the frame fell somewhere and dented the front here. So I'm going to see if I can get that out. So then what we're going to use to try and get that dent out is we've got a caster wheel here, which I'm going to try out. Just put a bolt through there and of the chamfer here i'm hoping that it might just help push that dent out a bit easier piece of thread rod stick through the caster wheel two washers two nuts and a piece of wood which we will use at the bottom and then i've got socket set and spanners so yeah let's try this out so the first thing we're going to do is just try and get try and take the wheel off um, just so we've got a bit more space when putting the rod through the hole there and tightening it. So what we're going to do now is stick the rod through there, um, put one of the washers on, and then that one, and put a nut on here. And then what we're going to do is stick the rod through there. And then just so that that's resting on the top there. So hopefully as we tighten down, this will push in there and then hopefully push the stent out. And what we'll do is put the piece of wood on the bottom there and put a wash on that on the bottom. Okay, so now we've got a bolt on the top with the washer. And then over here, we've got a piece of pine. So you don't want to go too hooked. You don't want to use something too hard in case you start damaging the bottom ring. And then we've put a washer and a nut on the bottom there. So and then what I'm going to do is tighten it and hope that it pushes this out. So yeah, let's see what happens. Now start tightening and see if it starts doing anything. Do it and see if it has straightened up at all. So after 
trying that and undoing it, we realized it hasn't helped because the cap still doesn't fit in there. You can see it's still flat. So we're going to have to try and think of another way and see what else we can try to get this straight. A few moments later. So plan B, I'm going to try and use a blowtorch from the kitchen. Uh, see if by heating up the aluminium and making it a bit softer, it might be able to straighten a little bit easier. So, yeah, so let's try this out. Yeah, so now we're going to try and use the same method just with the heat, with the aluminium heated a bit, just so it's a bit softer. Hopefully, let's try and see if this works. Hey guys, so you saw us heating up here again and we tried to use the caster wheel method with the bolt which still didn't work, um, we actually ended up stripping the threaded rod a bit um, then yeah, I suppose what you can call plan C um, I ended up just taking a rag cloth, putting it over here and using these pliers and actually just pulling gently back on it if you come around the front here, you can see that there is the only damage which I have created from the pliers. Fortunately, the cloth didn't help with stopping that. But yeah, I've put the headset cup here now. I mean, it's you can see it once knocked in, it's a lot better than what it was. And I think that they will work once I just file and sand here a bit. So. Yeah, after trial and error, we managed to figure out that just by heating and making the metal a bit soft, the aluminium a bit softer, um, and pliers and a cloth, and a bit of strength, we've managed to get this straight, which I'm very glad about. And yeah, so that's that video. I didn't plan for it to be a pl uh, plan A, B, and C, but you know what? Sometimes you need to just keep trying until you succeed. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please go and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And stay tuned to see what we've got planned with this frame. Until the next one, cheers.